In John 15 and 5, it says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. And this is Jesus speaking. Um, the word nothing is very clear. All right. Without Jesus, you can do nothing, nothing at all. And that's abiding in Jesus Christ is abiding in his death, abiding in what he did for you at the cross, accepting that only by simple faith, not by what you do, not by what you think you can earn from God, but by what you believe in. And that belief is in the fact that Jesus Christ paid for your sins at the cross totally and completely. Meaning you don't have to do anything to pay for your sins as far as works go. You just have to have faith in the sacrifice of Christ as enough to have paid for your sins. If you do that, you will abide in him. When you abide in Jesus Christ, you will be given the Holy Spirit to give you power in your life to do everything. Because again, Jesus said without him, you can do nothing. This is not just meant to be uh, taking power away from you and away from your flesh, which it does. It's also meant to be empowering now that you know you don't have to do it. You don't have to live this life in your own power. All the things in this life that'll stress you out, all of these things in this life that'll feel like they're overwhelming and out of your control are. They, they are exactly that. But with the power of God, these things will be taken care of. There's nothing that you can do in your own power. There, there might be an illusion of control, an illusion that you're controlling your entire life and controlling the direction of your entire life. And you may think in a way that you have, you've made certain decisions and controlled a certain way, but the grander picture is you are not in control. You're not in control oftentimes of when you die, how you die, uh, certain things that are going to happen to you in your life. If you have children being in control of their lives, being concerned for them. So you can give up that control by abiding in him. You can give up that control willingly and cast those cares upon Christ and say, listen, I, I can't handle this. I can't handle being in a position to try to control everything in this life, this world is scary. This world is confusing. There's things that go on that I don't know and I don't understand. I need your help. It's the exact position. That's not a position of weakness. That's actually a position of great strength because then and only then will you have the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you. So trust completely in what Jesus Christ has done for you at the cross and abide in him.